Hi gang, Melissa here. And today I wanted to do a life slash bibbit update for you. And just let you know what's been going on because you knew I was pregnant and then not everyone knew I had the baby, but then I jumped on and did a video uh, a week or two ago and, and mentioned that, hey, I had the baby, an update would be coming. So, and there he is now. And here's the update. Husband is on the couch snuggling with Bibi and while well, I so her and film. if you hear the sweet baby noises in the background or the not so sweet baby noises you know what that is um, so we had well not so much no, no no we we didn't have anything I had Wyatt his name is Wyatt on May 4th at 527 at night and he was nine pounds and 14 ounces and some of you just went, oh, I hope you had him cesarean. You damn skippy, I had him cesarean. Nobody wants to push that stuff out of anywhere. No, nobody wants any mangled mess left over. It's not going to happen, okay? It wasn't going to happen. So I thought I'd just give you a little bit of the background of the story, kind of what led up to it. <laughs> I mean, other than, hey, you got pregnant. That's what led up to it. Uh, very cute, I know. Um, and what was going on. So, found out we were pregnant in August of last year, and everything's going along well, going along good. Just the normal morning sickness. You know, I, I have all day sickness for the first trimester, not complaining, so blessed to be pregnant, and also like this crazy aversion of chicken. I don't know why when I'm pregnant, I can't stand chicken, and I get nosebleeds every day. So, I had like a nosebleed every day, and chicken was just like not happening. Um, going along, going along, and I didn't gain any weight my first half of the pregnancy, first trimester, even the first half of the pregnancy. I was a little bit big, a little bit, a lot of it big to start with. Didn't need to gain any weight, so it was fine. Um, had all the gestational diabetes testing, not even close, no sugar. I mean, my levels were great. Blood pressure was great throughout. And we're getting a little bit bigger and bigger. And I said to Justin, I'm like, I just feel like he's big. I'm really uncomfortable. I'm not gaining a lot of weight, and yet I feel like he's really big, especially compared to my last pregnancy. Sophie was born at 6 pounds 11 ounces, and I had her vaginally. So, you know, we, we go to the ultrasound to find out the sex of the baby. Um, we, he and I have a daughter together, and then I have three stepgirls. He has three girls from his first marriage, so he has four girls total, and then we have a girl together. And we're at the ultrasound for 20 weeks, which is really like 19 weeks, to find out the sex of the baby. And I'm like, I just feel like he's big. And the technician was like, wow, he's got a big head, and he's measuring about three weeks ahead. And I was like, he, so we found out we are having a boy, and so we are ecstatic. And I'm like, I told you, I told you he was big. And we go on and go on and a couple more months and we have another ultrasound to kind of gauge the size and he's still measuring three weeks big. Like when I go in for my monthly appointments, even through the measuring tape, we're three weeks big. And eventually we got to the point where we had an ultrasound for the size. And we get in there towards the end of the pregnancy and the ultrasound tech says, you're looking at a 10 pounder right now. And this was about what, like a month before I was due, hon? And I was like, well, how accurate is this? You know, because I've always heard that they're not so accurate, the ultrasounds. And the text says I'm normally within four to six ounces. And I was like, wow, that's pretty accurate. And at that point, I start talking to my doctor about what are we going to do as far as delivery? Because, and, and I didn't share this last time, my delivery with Sophia was basically without any meds or epidural. They tried to do two epidurals on me. First one didn't take. The second one, there was blood shooting out of my spine. It was ridiculous. It didn't take. And they gave me pains, pains. They gave me some pains. They gave me pain meds through my IV until I got to be about three centimeters. And they were like, you have to go it alone because it can't push the pain meds with the baby. I was like, wow. So that all <laughs> happened. And it was traumatic because the doctor it got to the point where Sophie's head was, you know, halfway out of my vagina. And they're like, stop pushing. We're going to go get the doctor. And I'm like, are you crazy? I'm like, what? stop what? I'm like, ah. It was horrific. And the doctor came in and she ended up cutting me and not even telling me. And it was like, wah. It was like the only time I made a noise, the only time I made a sound during that whole delivery of pushing Sophie out was when I got cut. And it was just like, oh, it was bananas. So, but you know, it's worth it. Your baby. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's not beautiful. Why do people say that? It's so beautiful. It's not beautiful. It's messy and it's painful. It's like, ah, and especially afterwards. And you feel like you're mangled and it's bananas. But I'm thankful that I have her and I would do it over and over again. I'm not, and I'm really not complaining. I mean, I, 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 
I'm, I'm just kind of being sarcastic about it and I'm, I'm very blessed I know a lot of people can't get pregnant so please don't think that I'm sitting here whining when a lot of people have had it worse and and some people can't even have the experience so knowing that I talked to my OBGYN and I'm like hey remember last time this happened and so I'm a little bit concerned that they're not gonna be able to get the epidural right and the reason they couldn't is because I had had back surgery in 2006 my L5 S1 was crushed they went in and fused it I, I mean they went in through the, my front infused it it was a crazy recovery huge surgery but it was successful so she got the size of the baby and we decided yeah it's gonna have to be a c-section and then I had to have another ultrasound to get the baby's weight because it was an elective c-section and I guess the restrictions on elective c-sections now are much more restrictive than they were in the past so I had the next ultrasound we're like yeah it's a still it's still a big baby in there okay and we went in on may 4th and i went to the hospital at three o'clock and he was out at 527 and it, it's been awesome nine pounds 14 ounces he was 19 inches long and just a chunky chunky monkey and i will show you a picture i'll insert it right here so that was everything with the babyness and then while that was going on, a couple of months leading up to delivery and up to having him, that's delivery, Melissa, mm-hmm, uh, some other things were going on. I, I just, you know, I felt like it was just a hard pregnancy. The first, and I think a lot of it is because I'm 38. I, I think the first time I was pregnant, I was 35, still older, but I think that it was easier for me just because I was a couple of years younger, and I, I, for those of you wondering, we're done having babies. We're so done. The shop is closed. The factory is shut down. It's done. And like, I'm completely happy with R2 and five total. He's definitely happy with the five. But I just think, you know, part of it's getting older. And, and it, again, it's, it could have gone much worse. But I also dealt with, I got an abscess in my underarm. And that was extremely painful. And then that had to be cut out. And then also the last three months of my pregnancy, there were some issues with my white blood count and my OBGYN saw that that it, it was registering high when she would do my blood work so I got sent to an oncologist and she told me over the phone she's like well worst case scenario you're looking at leukemia and I and and I yeah bleh, just right there there are no words that was a horrible horrible day horrible horrible day because I'm like when you hear that you think the worst you, you just don't even know what to think plus being hormonal and pregnant it was just very like I have to be here to raise my kids I I can't die like I have to be here and but then I was trying in my mind I'm like back down Melissa you don't even know what's going on so I met with the oncologist and had some more blood work done and sent it off to Atlanta to review this that and the other and it came back and he's like if you do have leukemia you have one of three one we don't even treat the second level um, is like a 95% cure rate and the other one's a 95% cure rate so actually after I heard that I got pretty happy about it not happy just happy at the at the possible you know prognosis outcome whatever and so had further testing and my levels came back and it looked like nope no leukemia but the levels are still high got a blood test a month after I had the baby and boom my levels went right back down they said sometimes it just happens when you're pregnant you can have high blood high white blood count levels and so thankfully thank you Jesus thank you so much um, I'm so grateful that it was just pregnancy so just a lot of those things going on and but everything's kind of calmed down now and mellow and very happy just settling into life with Wyatt and Sophie and you know Sophie they say a lot of children regress our three-year-old uh, she she her only regression really well she whines a little bit more but she wants to be fed like we feed her on and off now like oh I need someone to feed me because we're feeding Wyatt so that's okay we're dealing with that and he's a little colicky a li honey how colicky is he <laughs> he said a lot um no but it's it's manageable and he's doing great so that's just kind of the update and what's been going on and I'm happy to get back into filming and to chatting with you guys and answering emails and yeah just getting into a routine as much as I possibly can because I am not a good routine getter into or in time manager but I'm working on it so thanks so much guys for listening that's the update let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one all right guys thanks so much bye